Hey everyone, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a shoulder workout to improve mobility and posture, gain strength, and relieve pain. This workout requires either a couple of light dumbbells, a couple of water bottles, or a resistance band. You may also want to use a mat for comfort. All right, let's begin. We're gonna do an upright external rotation. So keeping good posture, standing up straight, we're gonna bring our upper arms out to our sides. Elbows are bent at a 90 on 90 degree here as well. Now let's pull those hands back as our elbows come forward. And we're just rotating at the shoulders, 90 degrees. And I want you to take it through that full range of motion. Now you may not be able to get through as full of a range of motion as we are today, and that's okay. Come back, get better, a little better every time. Good, so rotating, bringing those hands back. Going through this dynamic range of motion 10 times. Two more. And on the last one, I want you to hold back. So hands go back, elbows go forward, and we're gonna hold for 15 seconds. And on all of our static stretches today, I want you to take it to about 85% of what you can. Feel a nice stretch, but at the same time, don't hurt yourself. Almost there. Let's hold for three, two, one, and good. Ooh. Shake it out. Nice, good stretch. Yeah, good one to start with. All right, so let's bend over for the next one. Keeping our back straight, we're gonna do bent over T rotation. We're gonna do thumbs up this first time. So thumbs are up, arms are straight. And again, we're gonna follow that same method where we're going through this full range of motion. Making sure to breathe throughout all of these movements today. Thumbs to the sky on this one. Get nice and controlled. Feel Two that more. stretch up at the top. And here we go on this last one. Let's hold up at the top for 15 seconds. Good. This is a great one to stretch that intersection where your shoulders meet your biceps. Good. Hold them up, hold them up. Let's go for three. Two, one, zero. Good, check it loose. Whew. All right, the next one, we're gonna do almost the same movement, but the difference is we're gonna have our pinkies to the sky. So it's just gonna hit in a little bit different spot. Let's go ahead and bend over. Again, now this time, pinkies to the sky. Good. I say this one's gonna go a little bit more of that intersection of your chest and shoulders. Just loosening up from every direction. It's also a great one to help improve your posture. Taking that full range of motion. Pinkies are up. Last one right here. And last one, let's hold 15 seconds up. Feel that stretch, pulling them back, pulling them back. And again, you might not be where we are. You might be here, right here today, and that's okay. Really encourage you to make this routine your own. All right, pulling apart. Let's do it for three, two, one and zero, good, shake it loose. We're gonna need a wall for the next one. We're gonna do wall angels. So go ahead and make your way on over to the wall. Now this is definitely a little more challenging of a movement that will test your shoulder mobility. Let's start with your feet two to four inches away from the wall and then put our bodies flat up against the wall from our hips, our lower back, upper back shoulders, and even our head. Now let's go ahead and place your hands and arms up against the wall. Now we're keeping everything flat, we are going to reach up and then pull back down from our elbows. It's definitely a challenge on this one to keep everything flat up against that wall. This one will definitely expose any weaknesses that you may have. And I'm definitely feeling those pull-ups and dips I did yesterday right now. <laughs> We're going through this full dynamic range of motion 15, I'm sorry, 10 times. Halfway right here. Good, all the way up, all the way down. I feel it working and stretching. It's like as you get one part up on the wall, you feel another part starts to come up. <laughs> yep. Good, breathe. We got two more after this. And on that last one, we're going to do another 15 second hold, but this time we're going to do it with those elbows down. So uh, down and pull those elbows together down. Keep your back flat on the wall, hands flat, everything flat the best you can. Oh, I know this one hurts. 
And let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, oh shake nice. it loose. Feels so good. All Ooh. right, <laughs> we're gonna do an internal rotation next. So um, Claudia is gonna place her hand on her hip where I'm actually gonna place mine behind my back. So this is a little more challenge movement with the behind your back. If you can't, you can place it on your hip. I want you to reach with your opposite side arm and grab your elbow. And now I want you to take it through gently. 10 dynamic range of movements coming forward and back, just a little bat wing here. Be careful with this one. This tends to be a sensitive one for uh, many people with shoulder issues. Two so more. if you need to, you can even place your hand up front. Last one right here. And now on this last one, I want you to pull from that elbow, pull that elbow forward. We'll keep in good posture. We're pulling and holding this one for 15 seconds in total. Making sure to breathe. Excellent. Let's hold for three, two, one, and shake it out and switch it up. Let's hit that opposite side next. Again, we're going through that range of motion, and you might find that from one shoulder to the next, uh, you get have totally different flexibility. Uh, I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> like this one's so my right side is super tight. Oh, that's funny. My left one is super tight. Like I said, I did a bunch of pull-ups and dips yesterday, and I am feeling those. That's okay. That's why I'm here doing this recovery workout with you guys. Happy to have you here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Two more. And on that last one, we're pulling forward. Feel that good stretch. And again. With any of these, try your best to take it to about 85%. Where you're feeling a good stretch, but where you're not hurting yourself. You stretch too far, you just end up uh, creating scar tissue, and that's the last thing that we want to do. All right, good, and hold. And last three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Shake it loose. All right, we're going to go to the floor for the next one. Claudia doesn't isn't going to use any equipment, but I, however... I'm going to go ahead and grab my lacrosse ball and my peanut ball. We're going to do a lying pullover on this one. We're going to lie back on our flat in our backs. And I'm going to place one of my two balls. You decide which. I'm going to use, go ahead and use that peanut ball, double-ended ball, right on my traps, my upper traps. And both of us lying down, with our heads down, and we're going to bring our arms up overhead. Ooh, feeling that one stretch, keeping a slight bend in the elbows. Now let's bring those arms up till they are perpendicular to the ground and back down. Now you might not be able to bring your hands all the way to the all the way to the ground, and that is perfectly okay. If you're using a myofascial ball, a peanut ball, a tennis ball, find the spot where you need the most help in those upper traps and place the ball there. Three more. And as you get into it, stretch it out just a little bit more every time. Last one right here, guys. And let's go, last one. And now we're gonna hold those arms down, stretch them out all the way down. 15 seconds in total. Good. Gonna test that range of motion. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Good. Okay, we're up on our feet for the next one. We're gonna need a, a wall again for this next one. We're gonna, going to do a straight arm wall stretch. So go ahead and place one hand on the wall. And then the closer you get to that wall with your shoulder, the harder that stretch is going to be. So the Ooh. more you're here, easier it is. Then as you get closer and closer, the harder it is going to get. So we're not doing a range of motion on this one. We're just going to do the static hold and stretch. Now, you might not be where Claudia and I are today, and that's okay. Or you might be more flexible, in which case, then go ahead and start to rotate your body the opposite way, that left shoulder this way, and it'll really sink that stretch in nice and deep. Excellent. Hold through, breathe. And three, two, one. All right, excellent. Okay, let's switch opposite side down. Opposite arm. 
And again, just a 15 second static stretch on this one. And again, my left side is tighter than my right. I can yeah, feel Yeah, for this, my left side is tighter. And that's perfectly, Weird. perfectly normal to have one side tighter than the other. It all depends on your recent workouts or injuries or any of the above. Even the way you sit at your desk at work. Speaking of which, this is a great one to improve your mobility. <laughs> and hold for three, two, one, zero. Good. Ooh. And stretch it out. Okay, for this next one, we're going to do a posterior shoulder stretch. So we're going to bring one arm up, reach it across, use your opposite arm to help pull it across. And we're going to hold for 15 seconds. So again, you might be like this, and that's okay. Just take it to where you feel comfortable. Make this routine your own today. Come back, do it again. You get a little bit better every time. That's the beauty of it. Good. And three, two, one. And down, shake it loose. Let's hit that other side next. Excellent. Feeling that stretch in your shoulder and your chest. Let's hold for three, two, one, and zero. Nice work. I'm going to be using a resistance band. And I'll be using a pair of light dumbbells. If you're using water bottles, follow the move that Claudia is doing. So we're going to yep. do external rotations to start. I'm going to go ahead and grab my band. I have it set up on my post over here. And so for the external rotation, it's from in to out. We're working from in to out. So keeping that elbow tucked in up against your body. Elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. We're going full range of motion all the way in and all the way out. And depending on your strength and depending on your flexibility, that full range of motion may look different for you. Doing 12 repetitions. And again, getting a full range of motion. Try your best to keep your wrist nice and straight on this one. I want spaghetti wrists. Two more. And last one. Good. All right, let's switch sides for the next one now. Switching arms, I should say. So go ahead and rotate over. And again, keeping that elbow tucked into your body. Elbow stays bent at a 90 degree angle. This is a great one to strengthen the overall shoulder capsule. And squeeze that back of the shoulder at the far end. Good. Two more after this, guys. And last one. Boom, nice. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up on this next one. Now we're gonna do an internal rotation. So this time we're gonna go from outside in. Elbow is tucked into our body. You can see Claudia and I are really performing the same move. It's just from a different plane. So let's go ahead and pull that hand in. Rotating at the elbow, keeping that elbow tucked in nice and close to our bodies. Good. And with these ones, it's not really necessary to push the weight too far. It's much more important to use a weight that you can use good form with. Two more. Good, elbow stays tucked in. And excellent. Okay, let's switch it up. Opposite side now. Again, bring that elbow tucked into the body. And you might notice that your mobility is not the same in both arms, and that's totally okay, as well as your strength. But that's why this is, these are great unilateral moves, working one arm at a time. So if you do have any of those imbalances, well, hopefully that, that gives a chance for that weaker arm to catch up. Excellent. Stay focused Two and more. breathe. And last one. And last one. Okay, very good. Next up, we're doing an upright external rotation. So similar to the movement we just did earlier, but this time from an upright standing position, elbows are at a 90, and we're going to pull those hands back. I'm going to go ahead and use my resistance band. I'm going to step on it, pull my elbows up to a 90. Claudia's got her dumbbells. All right, now let's 
pull those hands back, keeping the elbows up and at a 90 degree angle. Stay nice and focused on form on this one and stay under control during the whole movement. So very important. Don't just let them fling back down and let momentum take over, but stay under control. Good, pull back, squeezing those rear delts up at the top. Two more after this one. Excellent, almost there. And last one. Good. Okay, we're moving into a side raise. Again, I'm gonna stick with these resistance bands. Our hands are up my side. I'm gonna bring, palms are down. I'm gonna bring my hands up until my arms are parallel to the ground and lower them. One into the next. Again, stand nice and under control on this one. This is a great one for your medial delts. All the way up, all the way down. Nice full range of motion. Halfway through. And again, staying under control. Really easy to just let them fling down, right? But don't do that. Control that descent, that lowering phase. Excellent. Two more. There's a good chance you're starting to get a little bit of a burn right now. For sure. That's all right. It's how we know it's working. That's a good thing. Last one. Stay strong. Good. All right, right into it, guys. We're moving into a front raise. My palms are in front of my body facing me. And we're gonna, in a controlled fashion, bring your arms up until they're parallel to the ground. Excellent. Great one for those anterior delts now. Get in the front. You got it. Nice and under control. Remembering to breathe throughout. And you're going to breathe in on that lowering phase and breathe out as you come up. Good. Always breathing out on the part of the movement that's the hardest. Two more. Keeping good posture. Under control on these last ones. Last one right here. And ah, done. Okay, good. So on this next one, we're going to do a little bit different movement. Um, where I guess what's most different is the angle with which we're going to do it. So I'm going to use the band. Claudia's using the dumbbells. She's going to get bend over into a 45 degree angle. She's going to do a dumbbell reverse fly where I'm going to do a band pull apart. So both of us are keeping our elbows, slight bend our elbows like we're wrapping our arms around a tree. And both of us are going to pull back from those elbows. But I'm going to go ahead and do it from an upright position. And on either one of these moves, I want you to pretend like, like I, I personally have my finger in the middle of your back and you're trying to squeeze my finger. Squeeze that finger in the middle of your back up at the top. And Halfway just, through. And that just ensures that you're hitting those right muscles. Good. Keep that slight bend in your elbow throughout so you don't want to extend at your elbows up at the top. Good. One to the next. Almost there. Two more. Nice and controlled. Zero. And last one. Nice, one. nice work. Excellent work. Thank you so much for working out with us today. If you enjoyed this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, starting to see some results, we do please encourage that you go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout today, we ask that you please just give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you are notified every time HasFit drops a new routine. Make sure you check out HasFit.com for hundreds of additional free workouts, free meal plans, and free complete fitness programs. Find your favorite social media network, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Find HasFit there because we want to connect with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been our honor and privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.